Okay, I have a request on showing the fermentation process a little more in depth. So, this is the subarctic plenty tomato that's been fermenting for about two and a half days. Gentle little swish two or three times a day for the duration. Don't be surprised if you see mold and have some gas expelled when you loosen the lid and a stench. Depending on how many uh, fruits I seed and how much uh, plant material and gelatinous goo is in the container determines how much water. If it's just one tomato like this and a little bit then I add about a teaspoon or two but if it's a half a bottle good size amount then I add a couple tablespoons. Here's a third round of Wonder Berries. I'm going through a whole bunch of different processes with this to determine the best um, method of extracting the seeds. The first one I squeezed all the seeds, tried to squeeze all the seeds out not leaving too much plant material behind. This one I crushed the berries right in there. They're squirters. You never know which way the seeds are going to come out and they get all over. Here we have uh, a plate and this will be the plate that I dry these on after they come out of fermentation. This is a new one that's a large, a, a large uh, specimen of the sub plenty tomato, subarctic. And that's a smaller of the specimens and they'll be uh, segregated. But here's what we're going back to. Three and a half, four days should be good enough for tomatoes and cucumbers. Same thing, scoop the cucumber seeds in there, add the water, put a lid on it, put it in a cool uh, dim spot, give it a gentle swish uh, two, three times a day. On the third or fourth day, put it in a strainer that is appropriate to the seed size, rinse clean. I like to set them on a towel and let the excess water drain out and then uh, slam the strainer, invert it on the paper plate, gently taking my fingers to separate them, the seeds as much as I can, and then let them dry thoroughly before packaging. This is a lychee fruit and I've consumed these before, decided to uh, get them fresh and pull the seeds out. They're pretty substantial. It's wrapped in a damp paper towel in a plastic bag stuffed in the cabinet and I'm going to watch the germination rate on this. This is different than the lychee tomato. Here we have this nice beautiful small yellow very tasty mango and I've already gone through quite a few seeds and I first I plop them in in their little uh, casing. Then I decided with this big cleaver to go ahead and take the tip off. Now you'll feel in the mangoes, you'll feel a, uh, a big spot in it and then they slim down. And I took approximately a half inch off the tip with the cleaver and it allowed me to pry it open and get the nice little seed pod that's in there. And I expect a much quicker germination with the mangoes. I also did a papaya round of papaya seeds they're outside so that's about it cucumbers any melons that are heavily uh, uh, in in goo tomatoes for sure need to go through this process that uh, material that gelatinous material around them is actually a growth inhibitor and doesn't make uh, it, the seeds will stick to the plate if you try to just scoop them out of a tomato put them on a towel or a plate Okay, that's it for that. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.